What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here. Today we are back with another video and today's video isn't gonna be the usual manga collecting thing, but this is a video to address the people or just give you guys my, uh, I guess my thoughts or how I feel about what people think about normies or people who are casuals in whatever they do. Now, generally me, I consider myself a casual in about everything. I'm into a lot of things. I'm into like superhero stuff. I'm into video games. I'm into manga, obviously. I'm into collecting figures or I'm into collecting vinyl records, things like that. And generally I'm not a hardcore person in either one of those things because just to be knowledgeable about all those things, it's already tough as it is. And to be a hardcore person that has a whole bunch of knowledge in each of these things, yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. And I don't know who all could do that. I personally can't. I have a very, very small brain. Like it's pea brain, like it's, it's that small. But as you guys can see <laughs> from my background, I don't have a lot of like, you know, hidden gems or, you know, hardcore stuff. Like I have the usual casual stuff. Like I have the Dragon Ball Z, the Bleach, the One Piece, the Naruto. I don't have anything super crazy like some out of print series or some Super Saiyan series in my collection because honestly, I just love being a normie. I love being a casual. I love the mainstream stuff. I love things like Spider-Man, Batman, who was my number one and number two favorite superheroes of all time. Dragon Ball Z, one of my favorite animes of all time with JoJo Bizarre Adventure being up there as well. I love the mainstream stuff. And I know a lot of people don't consider other people to be fans of certain things if they only like the mainstream stuff. And I just wanna tell you guys, you're wrong. I'm as much of a collector, as much of a fan of this stuff as you guys are who are not, you know, probably the normies or the casuals of all these type of things. I spend my money, I put them somewhere on display, I join them as much as the next guy does when it comes to collecting all these different types of fandoms. Like with my video game choices, I don't really collect anything from indie developers. I get the mainstream stuff. I like the Rockstar games. I like Red Dead Redemption. I like Grand Theft Auto. I like the Rocksteady games. I like Insomnia games. I like Ratchet and Clank. I like Spider-Man. I like all the mainstream stuff, but I've seen plenty of people in my comments say that, oh, your collection isn't unique because you have everything that anyone else could get. Okay, <laughs> what does that have to do with me caring? Like who asks? Like for real, who asks? Cause I definitely didn't ask. And I just remember this one time I got a comment under one of my videos saying, you have the NBA and Madden of manga collections. And I'm like, okay, like, Again, I, I gotta ask you guys this question again. Who asks? Like, I just don't get some people's mindsets when it comes to counting out people who are normies or casuals just because they have the stuff that's mainstream or they like the stuff that's mainstream the most. Me personally, I know that there's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of great stuff that a lot of people don't talk about or a lot of stuff that is underrated. underrated. You get what I'm saying? But me, I like the overrated stuff. I Well, not all the overrated stuff. Demon Slayer, it's all right. But I don't like all the overrated stuff. I like the overrated stuff, though. I like the One Pieces, like I said. I like the Dragon Ball Zs. I like the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. All the stuff that's mainstream that you hear of, it's mainstream for a reason. Easily accessible, and it just has an easy way for people to get access to it or just for them to get into the actual series itself. So for all the people who are out there who are, I guess, kind of afraid of actually like collecting mainstream series or super popular series, don't be. This is a motivational video, or hopefully it motivates you to not be afraid of collecting literally whatever you want, unless it's like disgusting. Now there's nasty man, you can collect nasty man, but if it's disgusting, don't do that, like metamorphosis. I talked about that in the video already, but that is disgusting. But either way, if it's popular, go ahead and get it if you really want it, or go ahead and get it if other people are recommending it to you. It's probably not that bad if it's pretty popular. Now some stuff is popular because it's bad, but that's different though. But main purpose of this video, be a normie, be a casual, get the mainstream stuff. It's mainstream for a reason, it sells well for a reason. People know it for a reason of some sorts. Like Dragon Ball Z isn't Dragon Ball Z because it's like horrible. I don't get it. And that just goes on to another topic of people saying Dragon Ball Z doesn't have a plot or a story. I hate people that say that, but that should be another video for another day. But that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to touch on this topic because I've been called a normie. I've been called a casual. And honestly, I embrace being a casual. I am like the casual of casuals. You get? Well, actually, I'm technically the hardcore 
of casuals but either way i'm still casual and i embrace and i like being casual because it's just very daunting to try and be a gatekeeper or try to be that elitist that thinks that they're better than everyone because they have those gems that no one knows of but them like okay you think you're cool dude no one knows you but your mom stop it but that's about it for the video thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel you have not already go ahead hit the subscribe button post notification bell and like the video and i gotta give a huge shout out to my patreon pledges for going ahead and financially supporting the channel guys i highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me financially donating on patreon and i gotta give a huge shout out to the youtube members for also financially donating on the youtube side of things as well shout out to broke boy gang because they're always supporting and i gotta say i highly appreciate you guys for watching dark sage out peace